guys, I just got a package from Ian and Shane from Smosh. They're my good friends. You guys know that I've collabed with Smosh a bunch over the years. You've been selected to take part in YouTube's great gift exchange. And there's a URL. I'm a bit concerned to put this <laughs> into my phone. All right, let's see what we got. Hey y'all, I'm Alta Dulaney, the world's most famous gift wrap artist and YouTube's rap representative, Giflamat, presenter. That is not what I expected. You <laughs> have been selected to be a part of YouTube's great gift exchange, where you and 11 other creators will participate in a chain of charitable gift giving. You will each be assigned a creator, and as a gift, each of you will make a donation to a charity that is important to your recipient. Then you will be whisked away to my magical wrap shop. <laughs> okay. Magic. Where I'll teach you how to gift wrap the creator's donation in a thoughtful way. Where did they find this guy? All right, let's open this thing. Oh, like this is awesome. Like, look at how good I look. They really captured my je ne sais quoi. You and me together, friends. This is a legitimately really well done pizza made of paper. They sent me this bedazzled version of my 8-bit character too, MatPat. Look, look at how beautiful that is. So I'm assuming this pizza slice has something to do with it. Oh, okay. Happy holidays. Smosh has made a charitable donation to No Kid Hungry in your name. That's so sweet. One thing that people tend to forget about is not only are schools like largely not in session, but schools don't just provide education for people, but they provide social services, including meals for underprivileged families. What No Kid Hungry does, which is so incredible, is that they provide the ability for those schools to keep giving meals even during hard times like 2020 has been. Shockingly thoughtful from Team Smosh over there, but uh, it seems like there might be something else here, so I'm assuming this is like a Parmesan shaker. Oh, it's a black light! Yes! There's secret messages inside. Okay, let's do this. You're dumb. More like suck theory. Oh, and they drew a poop. Thanks, guys. I'm so glad that you donated to charity in my name, but also a uh, human turd. <laughs> Matt Pat's a dumb loser. This is the smosh that I know. But I guess now it's time to keep rolling with the video, so... Alton! Without further ado... <laughs> I took years of modern dance. Let's find out who your lucky gift recipient is. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Your official gift recipient is the musical mastermind, Kurt Hugo Schneider. Hey, that's awesome. I love Kurt. Kurt and I received our 10 million subscriber button at the same time. So we go, you know, we go way back. I'll see you at the wrap shop. Enjoy the train ride. Choo choo. Is this like some sort of magical train? Magical, magical, magical transition. Time, this candy isn't gonna crush itself. While well, visions of pixels danced in Matt's head, to Alton's rap shop went the steam-powered sled. I'm really looking forward to working with Matt and Pat today. Guy. I'm really looking forward to working with Matt Pat today. Not only is he charming, I really do admire Matt Pat's ability to analyze video games in an accessible and entertaining way. I mean, there's so many buttons on this thing, I can't even pretend I know what I'm doing. Ah, saved by the train. That must be MatPat. Well, MatPat, welcome to the wrap shop. Thanks for having me here. Uh, how was the train ride? A teeny. It's fuel efficient that way. Tell me a little <laughs> bit about your recipient, Kurt Hugo Schneider. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's actually an OG YouTuber. He's this incredible musician who takes the art of music and applies it to the world around him. Amazing. I do know that Kurt is really into puzzles and puzzle okay. solving. Uh, he proposed in an escape room. Oh, wow. And so I'd love in my gift wrap to incorporate something that he has to kind of figure out in order to get to the gift inside. We love shenanigans here. Great, sure. I have <laughs> so many ideas. Experiences like these make amazing gifts. They cost almost no money. It's just a little extra time 
time and yet really can be much more fun and more memorable than the actual gift itself. Because sometimes when it comes to gift wrapping, it really is more about the journey than the destination. Matt, I know you're a gamer. <laughs> I love the use of heavy quotes. Is this offensive, the gamer, Was that, or is that funny? <laughs> it's, I think it's funny. Okay, yeah. I'm really not. I mean, <laughs> sure. Daddy don't play games. What is your experience with gift wrap? I love precision, I love cleanliness, but the, the paper gets thrown away. All Like, why right. would I waste my time? Well, I mean, the answer to that is it's the, it's the magic moment. It's the celebration, you know, it, it elevates that exchange from something like, here's 20 bucks, but here's a gift <laughs> that I bought for you and then I presented it in yeah. this incredible way. And... So if, if we're talking about gift wrapping, right, yeah. when you look at the history of gaming, you could say that, like, back in the 80s, there's this conspiracy theory about a bunch of games all getting wrapped in a New Mexican desert. Tell me more. Oh, I will do so. In 1983, a man by the name of Howard Scott Warshaw created what's widely considered to be the worst game in gaming history. Warshaw was actually a pretty talented game designer, and he gets the call to make a game dedicated to Steven Spielberg's E.T., the extraterrestrial. Huge opportunity, right? Things could have worked out just fine, except there was one problem. They really wanted him to get the game done for the holiday season, and that meant one thing. Crunch. He managed to hit his deadline, and according to plan, the game started to fly off the shelves. But then people started to play it. It was terrible. It was nigh on unplayable. By April of 1983, this premier game had dropped from $38 to $7.99. So what do you do as Atari? Suddenly you're left with thousands of games that can't be sold. They drove off to the middle of a New Mexican desert and buried them in a landfill. The idea that this treasure trove of unsold video games became kind of an urban legend until 2014 when people actually went out and found the landfill where they were all buried. Ironically enough, those games that you couldn't give away back in 1983 now sell at auction for about 1,500 bucks. Well, hopefully our wraps will be better today that I won't have to bury them in the desert on my way back to Texas. I don't know. You've never seen me wrap a gift before, Alton. So are you ready, Matt Pat, to level up your gift wrap skills? I put myself in your hands, world's most famous gift wrap artist. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah! So, we can just go and so, do, do it if you want. I, I, want, I mean, I thought they were going to freeze it. <laughs> Did they not freeze it? Actually, Matt, it's over here. It's this way. I've never been here before. Go figure. So today we're going to be wrapping these fun, colorful sketchbooks with these great markers. OK. And then these gifts are actually going to children in need. Oh, so no pressure. No right? pressure at all. Great. This quick wrap is what we call the crisscross wrap. It is already news to me that there's more than one way to wrap a present <laughs> than fold paper over and stick. So we're going to roll out our paper. You're going to have a little uh, overlap at the bottom. OK. And then you're going to cut it just short of the journal. My mom would always do a fold, and she wouldn't use scissors. She would actually, like, physically tear it, like perforated and paper. And that's a cute look, too, and then you kind of get that torn edge, which is nice. Oh, and look at what a great job you're doing already. I already tore the paper. Now, this is the only tricky part of this wrap. You're going to go in on the side and tuck in the paper to create these two triangular flaps. How did you do it so cleanly? See, lots and lots of practice. What the heck? Why doesn't the paper do what I want it to do? Here, let me, <laughs> let me hold down the book. Get into it. Gift wrapping is a full contact sport. OK, here so we go. So now we're going to fold it over yes. across the book. Full, OK. And now we're going to do top flap on the right. Same thing. Oh, I lost my triangle. My triangle abandoned me. Come back, triangle. Go back, go back to me. I'm so nervous. As a control freak, I'm not used to like putting myself into like the most vulnerable positions possible. This is one of the most vulnerable hey, positions possible. You're doing so great. You need to throw a foot up there to hold the other side. <laughs> hold exactly. That down. Exactly. It's not going Perfect. anywhere. And then we're gonna fold that over. And you can see how we've started to develop this crisscross pattern on top of it. The paper's crisscrossing back and forth. Yes, clearly. And now you're gonna do the same thing on the right side. Ooh. Excellent. Now, turn it back over. The great thing about this crisscross wrap is it has this great little pocket uh -huh. which you can add another gift to. And I like to call this putting the present in presentation. You can take some of these great markers that we're giving. Okay. And look, they just shove in to the wrap. I am so sorry, children. So now that we have this wrap, which is pure perfection. Yes. Let's add that ribbon onto it. Let's add that little uh, belt or belly band. All right, you've got your ribbon. I do. 
But what I like to do with this particular wrap is then I just like to give it like a couple of three or four wraps. You can put those back in when we're done. Yes. And then just kind of knot it off in the front. <laughs> this very well may be the best gift wrap ever. Now we're gonna move on to our main wrap. The first part of this wrap is gonna be in this little box and we're gonna turn this into a video game cartridge. Oh, that's great. I love to get creative with my gift wrapping and make the gift look like something other than what it is. Let's transform this gift into a console, a controller, and a video game cartridge. Yours is going to contain the actual donation with love. You're okay. gonna tuck it in, yes. And we're gonna wrap it in gold paper. Gold paper. This is very reminiscent of what is probably the most special of video game cartridges ever created, the original Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System, which came as a gold cartridge. Yeah, hang tight. <laughs> hang tight! I'm just gonna slice and dice this paper. I swear I can cut things, it's fine. I like to take the edge of my paper and I just fold it over so you never tape to the actual box. Always tape paper to paper. Oh. Because when your recipient opens this, you want the paper to just melt away. <laughs> yep, that's what I want. And then you're gonna just take your finger and then create these little wings. And the good thing about this is it keeps your package from sliding around inside the gift wrap. Yeah, no one wants a sliding package. Now is when things get interesting. Okay. We're gonna do something called pleating. Fold it over on itself again and again, and you're gonna just kind of roll it and fold it. And I'm just taping them down so they don't unfold later. Oh, no. <sighs> what? Tape. Come on, tape. Oh, look at that beauty. Excellent. All right. I've never seen a better pleat before in my life. And there's your video cartridge. Oh my gosh, this is great. Reminds me of my childhood. Even the best cartridge is really no good without the console to play it on, it's true. So we're gonna start with this box and we are going to build our own classic console. Great, sounds fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue actually on the lid of the box. Whoa, we're putting an adhesive on the box itself. The rules are meant to be broken. Glue sticks, man. I always like the smell of them. Do glue sticks have a smell? This one maybe doesn't. <laughs> so that's our console box. Yes. And now we're gonna create our logo. Ooh. And this, my friend, is, you're gonna love this, a circle cutter. <laughs> oh, geez. I thought this would be much simpler than it is. There we go. Uh, nice. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Matt Hat. And in honor of Kurt, I thought that calling it the Curtendo would be a cute name for it. I love it. We've got our very super cute cartridge, a little duo gift. Ooh. 45 minutes later. And here we are with the final product. We've got our cartridge inside, we've created this great console, and then we've taken all those puzzles and I've worked them into this cute controller. We couldn't show the actual making of the controller because that would spoil the surprise. I don't want Kurt Hugo Schneider seeing this video early. You're just gonna have to tune into his channel to see exactly what we have in store for him because there's some fun video game Easter eggs and a couple of codes you might recognize. I like to think of this as a little escape room in a box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you tune into Kurt Hugo Schneider's channel and find out the devious puzzles I've put in this box. It's the grand finale of the Great Gift Exchange. It's like the final boss stage. Wow, I made a gamer. 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 Of you after all. I threw that in just for you. I, I appreciated it. And remember, that's just a wrap. A gift wrap. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. First it. time. Right? One and done. Ho, 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 ho. To Kurt Hugo Schneider, the musician. The puzzle and present steamed away. Will he unlock the gift with expert precision? Find out in the grand finale. <clears throat> finale. Today we have something a little bit different. I do know this reference. This is Zelda, this famous cheat code. What is that? What will you find at the end of Metroid? If this is not what I'm supposed to do, it, I must look really dumb. <laughs> Before I left, there was one final note for me. All this holiday cheer doesn't need to end here. Choose one more creator for the giving train and let's start a whole new chain.
I'm going to sit here and think about it. In the meantime, you can watch the related episodes. I'm doing a dance that's enticing you to want to click on one of those boxes.